the auction art online at westernart2002.org. For tickets and information, contact the Western Art Association. It's 522, 54 degrees outside the Cap TV studios. And time to check in with Denise Keller. She's got a look at what's coming up at 6 o'clock. Denise. While teen pregnancy rates have dropped slightly across the state, Yakima County has the highest rate in Washington. We'll look at what's being done. And do you know your HIV status? A local group wants you to find out. Those stories tonight at 6. Thanks a lot, Denise. Top Stories USA. A new agreement has both America and Russia cutting their nuclear arsenals. President Bush announced the agreement today. It calls for each country to cut its nuclear weapons to around 2,000 warheads. That's down from the 6,000 that's allowed. Out. Bush and Russian President Vladimir Putin will sign the treaty next week at a summit in Russia. Intelligence agents have received threats. A U.S. nuclear power plant like Hanford would be a target of a July 4th terror attack. Now, it hasn't been determined if the threats are reliable enough to act on, but the government says they are being taken very seriously. In Top Stories World, former President Jimmy Carter says Washington, D.C. has no evidence that Cuba is involved with the production of biological weapons. The U.S. has accused Cuba of trying to develop these warheads. Fidel Castro denies the charge. Carter visited a major Cuban biotechnology lab with Castro today. Carter is the first president to visit Cuba since Castro took power. In Japan, security forces are continuing to prepare for the coming World Cup soccer tournament. Today, they took to the water to practice taking care of soccer hooligans offshore. These drills are the first of their kind. Police set up a mock riot on board a ferry, and they used water pressure and wind from a hovering helicopter to bring the crowd under control. It's 523. Time to check in with ABC's Jill Bennett. She's in New York and has an update on the business world. Jill? Good evening, everybody. A whopper of a deal on the retail front. Sears Roebuck & Company snaps up Land's End in a $1.9 billion cash deal. Now, as of late, Sears has not been selling a lot of clothing. Shoppers are more interested in washers and dryers and hard goods, so clothing sales really drag them the bottom line. Industry watchers say this acquisition gives Sears a front door entrance to a household name and apparel. In fact, it is the country's biggest specialty apparel ca catalog retailer. And now Land's End gets a chance to show up on racks in stores instead of just pages in a catalog. The line will be fully rolled out in stores by fall. Let's move it now to the market, take a check on those numbers. We had some optimism today on some earnings expected, especially from Applied Materials tomorrow. Dow finishing up 169 points, a gain of 1.7%. Uh, it was the NASDAQ that really kicked it into gear here, up 3%, 1652. S&P 500 finishing up to 1074. Well, finally, some good news for job seekers. 27% of companies recently surveyed expect to hire more employees from July to September, while just 8% expect to cut staff. The rest of the companies said they'd maintain their current staffing levels or just weren't sure. Staffing firm Manpower surveyed 16,000 firms nationwide for that poll. At the MX on Business Week reporter Jill Bennett. For more, visit abcnews.com. And while we're speaking of business, one of the biggest issues facing our local economy is the vote on the proposed Yakima Port District. Now, tomorrow night, Cap Local News at 6 o'clock is devoting the entire half hour to informing you before you vote. You can also cast your vote on the Port District in our online poll. Just log on to our website. That's captv.com. Meteorologist Tom Spencer will have your travel's forecast coming up. Local seniors are showing you're never too old for a parade. See why these residents are in line and marching in time with local students. That's when CAP Local News at 5 returns with more local coverage you can count on. Log on to captv.com and talk to the expert. Shoemaker Painting, your local expert for all your painting questions. Let's play, dude. Give it your best shot. What about this one? Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Better get Mako. Mako repairs the damage and restores the value with everything a body needs. Plus paint for every budget, like ambassador service for $229. Anybody want to play? Spider-Man will only take his mask off for one thing. Two things. The Carl's Jr. Superstar. Put one in your mouth before seeing Spider-Man. Only at Carl's Jr. At Quality Care Medical Clinic, our physicians talk with you, not at you, concerning your medical conditions. Putting the personal touch back into seeing your doctor. 
Our on-site lab, x-ray, EKG, and other in-office services will save you time, money, and frustration. Call 248-1288 today to make a same-day appointment and let us welcome you as a new patient. Specializing in family medicine, Quality Care Medical Clinic is a preferred provider for most major insurances and Medicare is accepted. City Hall can't do it. The state can't do it. We have to do it ourselves. A port district attracts industry. Industry creates higher paying year-round jobs and that's what we need. It won't solve all of our problems, but we can't wait for a miracle to turn our economy around. We need to do it ourselves. Vote yes for a port district. Paid for by Port District Committee, Alex Dicio, Chairman. Don't miss the best show of the year. Memorial Hospital's Follies Broadway Musical featuring local talent singing and dancing to big band blues. Two performances Saturday, May 18th. Come and support this community effort to celebrate philanthropy. Tom's back. He has more on the forecast. What can travelers expect on the roads tomorrow? That's right, tomorrow morning there could be showers in many parts of the northwest, although by the afternoon a lot of areas will start to see some sun breaks. That's the situation for Seattle with a high of 59, also Portland with a high of 62, and Spokane with a high of 61, partly cloudy over the blues with a slight chance of showers. Remember, cooler tomorrow, the valley will warm up to just 65, the lower valley 67, and Ellensburg about 58 degrees. Our worst weather honors today go to Butler, Illinois, where they were serving up Serious flooding after some very good thunderstorms. Again, showers and thunderstorms diminishing tonight. Then the winds will gradually die down, will become partly cloudy and fairly chilly overnight tonight. All right. Mm -hmm. Burr. Thanks, Tom. The Parks Nursing Center in Union Gap is celebrating National Nursing Home Week with some help from local students. The Union Gap marching band led a parade for the seniors. The residents and the care providers at the nursing home followed in behind. Today was Spirit Day, and the residents showed their spirit wearing red, white, and blue. The activities director, Susan Roberts, says most nursing homes joined in. The whole week is for the residents and their families families to keep together. And it just goes to celebrate nursing homes and all the things that, that happen in the nursing home, the, the spirit of it. How fun. It does. We'll be back at 6 o'clock. See you then.